what? How do I know that it's happening? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Yo, this is my first time streaming using OBS. So, I don't know if you can hear me, see me. I don't know if it started. It says stop streaming. But how can I tell if I'm riding out? I don't know. Maybe I'll wait for somebody to tell me. Is a clock moving somewhere? Why does that say four seconds? Oh, let's go to scenes. Let's go to scenes. All right. I don't need to mess with anything. Yo, hero crazy for that. Nah, he was balling. Hey, bro, help me out real quick. Help me out. This is my first time using OBS. I was I was about to make my video, but I've been messing with OBS all day because I need to find an easier way to do this. So, can you hear me clearly? And you see me and and you see Outlier, right? Crispy, um, Crispy. Why did I know you would be first? Yo, tell me how the mic sound. Can you hear me, bro? Cause I'm about, I got to get right for tomorrow. Let's get this though. Hold on my mic. I hope my phone don't die. Even if my phone die, I'm gonna still ride out. Cause all, all I need is my microphone and the screen. Hey, everything perfect. Uh, bet. You can hear me bet, bet, bet. Let's go. Hey bro. Hey, first of all, hey Crispy, check this out. Cause you, you hit me up and I replied to you and I just want to put you up on something. Bro, I play so many three-man parlays in, in a single day. It's crazy. So I just picked one to make a video for it. So what I say this to say that I don't put any weight on any one parlay. Bro, I literally am just trying to create content and show people how I'm doing this. But with that said, like, oh, I should have pulled up my stats. I'm going to do that. Well, this is my first time using OBS. Work with me. Work with me, and uh, let's get started. Yo, first off, I just opened up, and this is the first line I see. This is Damian Lillard. Hey, will I be able to reply to the chat in here? Can I? Oh, let's go. What? Oh, let's go. Heard that. Hey, can I, like, tap y'all joint, too? What can I say? Can I like shit? What do I do? Double tap it? No. How do I like something? I see hearts and shit over here. What's that? Oh. Back out of there. Oh, man. Ask me to sign in YouTube. Hold on. My bad. I'm sorry. Let me make sure I'm signed in so I can reply. Oh, hat again. Why did it do that? <clears throat> All right, can I reply? No. <coughs> Why is it asking me to open my phone? You keep asking me to open my phone. Hey, my bad, man. I'm getting started, but I got to do this to sign in so I can reply. Yes, it's me. Maybe I should have did this first. Man, Pelican just pounded the king. Man, what was that? Hold on, we're going to get into this. Yes, it's me. Let me in. Continue. No, just continue. Jesus Christ. Continue, you see it. Hey, as soon as I open up. Damn it. No. <laughs> that is not what we're doing right now. I uh, knew I was going to have fucking issues. Anyway, right now, as of right now, I can't see the chat. However, that sucks, man. What's the point? Damn it. I knew something like that was going to fucking happen. Don't ban me for cussing, YouTube. Mm. All right, this should be my dots right here, and I'm going to just go get the YouTube live control panel. Put it back right there. Damn it. Hey, listen, as soon as I start, I'm going to sign in the chat, I promise. But look, Damian Lillard first, Damian Lillard's, um, 
first half points is set at 15. And look at this. In the last 10 games, listen, Giannis not playing, right? So let's go take away Giannis into the Kung Fu. Into the Kung Fu. Without, he said, game time decision. I don't know, bro. Stop playing with us. Are you going to play or not? Hey, his still his in the last twenty games under first under fifteen points in the first half. It's still crazy. Move that out of the way so I can see this bit better. Boom. Look at that. Eighty percent even without Giannis, but still just like a playoff game. You can expect him to try to go off. I think you would think he would. Um, I'm gonna get off first court first half points and go to um points so I can see his field goal percentage. I mean, his field goal attempts. He's averaging 17 field goal attempts. Hey, hold on. I got to try one more time to log in to YouTube. What's up, son? I was already in. Oh, let me show my password and make sure. Boom, I'm in. Boom. Connected. All right, what's the chat? Huh? <laughs> what's the chat go? Docs. Chat. Dang. Where is it? My control panel. I just want to chat. Oh, I got it. I think I got it. All right, let's go. I'm sorry. Be careful because Giannis isn't playing. Yes, Justin, heard that. That's why I should try to show without that. All right, I'm back, and I think I'm legit now. All right, let's get it. I can see the chat. If anybody's still here, let's get it. I can see the chat. Now let's start over. All right, you seen Dame, you seen Dame but I still I removed Giannis. Watch. Look, again, games without Giannis. Games without Giannis. And I'll move that out of the way. But games without Giannis in the last 10, this is just his points. It's over 28 and a half points. This is without Giannis, last 10 games that he played without Giannis. But we're going to do head-to-head -head because we're playing the playoff games, and there are none. That's why I'm staying away from Dane. But that's the first thing I saw when I opened up with this um, with this um, first half points. Anyway, let's go back to props and get it right. Look, so tomorrow or today, whatever, it's at the 12. Let's go. Today is um Saturday. And there's one, two, three, four games today. So what I'm doing, I need three, three mans out of these four games today. I'm play, I gotta play my three mans on Dabble, but I'm gonna help y'all out. I know a lot of y'all play on prize pits. So we can follow on home on here. And then I got the chat here that I can see now. What's good? What's good, everybody? What's good? Yo, let me know. Yo, let me know who y'all looking at early. We'll start with those. Let me know who you want to see, and let's get this done. It's crazy. All right. <clears throat> but I'm going to go back here again. And I said start at the props. Hey, if the Knicks playing, we starting with the Knicks. And, of course, they playing. And obviously, I'm going to start with Jalen Brunson. I'm a Knicks fan, whether you know it or not, but I bet on anything and anyone. This is about data. Hey, Jalen Brunson, points, rebounds, and assists is set at 40 and a half. Did I? Did that go through? Yes, I saw that. Wait, wait. Oh, the answer to him. I got to make sure. All right. Hey, Jalen Brunson, points, rebounds, and assists is set at 40 and a half. And it's minus 120. Last 10 games, he's hitting this at 80%. Last 20 games, we ain't going back there. We're going head to head. This is versus Philly. That that 40 and a half over against Philly, it ain't hitting. Look at the under. It's minus 120, slightly favored to go over, but let's look at the under. The under is plus 100. This is games against Philly. One, two, three, four games this season. And four straight games this season, he went under this number. Let's see what it is on prize picks. What is his name? <laughs> Who am I looking for? I've been doing this shit so long. 
Jalen Brunson. I've been doing this so many times. His line on prize picks is at 41 and a half. Somewhere here, prize picks trying to get you. The line is moving from 40 and a half to 40. The consensus is 40 and a half. And a half. The under is plus 100 at 40 and a half. Prize picks got him at 41 and a half. I guarantee on Dabble is at it's at forty two. <laughs> I hate I hate to say it, but I think I'm gonna play the under. I'm going for the Nets, but that's right. If I had to put it on the parlay, I would play the under against Philly, the forty and a half at minus one twenty. But I'm looking for odds way bigger than that. So I'm gonna move on. Who was this? Miles McBride points. I saw that. I check out Miles McBride points. We still in the Knicks game. Boom. Where he at? All right, Miles McBride points is set at five and a half. Hey, the over is plus 116. This is what he done in the last 10 games. It's hit at 90%. Head to head versus Philly this season. He scored 13 points in the last game against Philly, but also scored zero points in a game against Philly. Look at his field goal attempts. He took eight shots in his last game against Philly, and then he took five shots here. This is also from this season, both of those games. He averaged about five attempts against them. That's his points. Look at his points, rebounds, and assists. It's at eight and a half. The under is favored at minus 120. Again, last game versus Philly. Last game versus Philly just took eight shots and made five of them. Miles McBride. All right. Um, hey, sticking with the Knicks. I like to look at Josh Hart's rebounds and assists. I'm going to look at Josh Hart rebounds and assists. It's set at 16 and a half, and it's plus 106 to go over. The under is not heavily favored at minus 119. I guarantee Prize Pit has that one night, minus 119, too. I got Prize Pit checked over here, yes. But against Philly, head to head against Philly in the last game, ooh, the last game he smashed, he smashed through that. He had fifteen rebounds, he had nineteen rebounds and ten assists in this game on the season at, against this line right here. Under the under is hitting at eighty percent on the season, but again against Philly, it's fifty fifty. In his last four games against Philly, but in this game, I guarantee Embiid was out. On the twelfth, nah. When in, when in, that was on March twelfth, not not April. Nah. So we're gonna stay away from. We're gonna stay away from um, Josh Hart on this one. I wonder if his rebounds alone was just that. I didn't. I should have checked that. His rebounds alone. Boom. His rebounds alone was at ten and a half. The over is plus one ten. Let's go head to head. He had 19, obviously, I just said. He had 19. He covered this in every game versus Philly this season. Hmm. But what I can't see is what games that Embiid miss here. I probably can see it on the Embiid side, too. People saying Embiid don't look healthy or whatever, or 100%, and maybe he isn't, but he still just puts up numbers. Every single time, it seems as though. I'm going to start with his PRA. I'll go and see what games he's missed. I'm looking at the last 20 and see that he played in that game against the Knicks on the 12th head-to-head -head on March 12th. No, he did not. So that game that Jalen Brunt, Jalen, that game that Josh Hart got all those rebounds, he was not, he was not playing against Embiid because Embiid be snatching rebounds. His PRA line is at 46 and a half, the minus, minus 106. Slightly favorite, but in the previous game, he went under that. But all his lines gonna be high 41 and a half for points and rebounds, not heavily favored here. Hey, but to prevent me from going through, I go, I go always go look at my favorite team and see what their lines are. But I start here and I look at the last 20 games, or we're gonna do a look at head to head because it's the playoffs, and then head to head versus playoffs, you can see all of these. The hit rates start at 100%. So 100% of the time, head-to-head, -head, these props 
were hitting. But a lot of them be uh, Evan Mobley over. Evan Mobley to get one assist in the first quarter. I'm opening the tab so I can keep going. And then Ola Drew Holiday over four and a half assists against Miami. So look, <clears throat> this is Drew Holiday assist. Drew Holiday head to head. And every game this season versus Miami, he's gotten over four and a half assists. But it's plus 112. I will take that straight up. It's plus 112. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm a Sixers fan. I'm telling you, he is a healthy. He was just listed as questionable earlier. Bro, you can tell, man, because he ain't. To be a big man, he still doesn't. I'm not saying he moving. He got lateral movement like a guard or a three that plays defense. But how watching him, he wasn't even moving fast enough from the top of the key to the to the paint on defense. He would just turn around and walk. I was like, this man is not healthy. He looked like he didn't want to get hurt or step hard or whatever. He just wasn't 100% to me, but still puts up numbers. Yo, Drew Holiday, his assist line is at four and a half. He's covered this in every game today against Miami. But, bro, I was looking at, obviously, you guys know that just because he's done it this many times don't mean he's not going to do it. Bro, Tyler Hero, without Jimmy Butler, Versus the Chicago Bulls was under seven assists ninety percent of the game last ten games he played. But obviously that's just a number that happened in the past. You know when I, I took hey, what's crazy is I know some of y'all following me saw it on TikTok too. Two days ago when the line first dropped, I took Tyler Hero under on some ticket. It's still waiting because I put it on an assist ticket. I'm gonna show you. It's on my oh, it's on Dabble. I'm gonna post it still, but it's an I got. <laughs> I got Hero over on that only ticket, and I got two other players that play on Saturday on an over assist. And, um, and, um, but the next day, the play was Tyler Hero to go under. You know what I mean? And I played that bitch on two tickets and made a video about it. And he dropped five assists in the first quarter. I think he finished with nine. That was crazy. What's good? What's good, Rob Beast? I'm doing good, bro. I'm trying to put together me some three man, but they coming, and I'm gonna all go. Just missed my Drew Holiday play, but I'm gonna add him to my pitch because that one looked decent. Also, I'll show you again, Evan Mobley. Evan Mobley head to head in the first quarter of games, he's getting an assist. His line is at point zero five assists. It's minus one thirty seven to <clears throat> to go over and getting one assist in the first quarter. If that's available, I'm adding that to my one, two, three, because there ain't no way. All right, I'm going to go back to here. But yeah, I'm on the head-to-head -head tab. These players are hitting at 100%. These players have 100% hit rate head-to-head. -head. Look how many there are, but at the same time, look at what they are. Damn it, I ain't trying to do that. At the same time, look at what they are. Still on head-to-head. -head. Um, You see a lot of first-quarter joints. I'm going to go over here and put, like, the most popular plays that I like. And um, where we at? I'm going to go assist. I'm going to put points. I'm going to put points and assists. I'm going to points and rebounds. PRAs. Rebounds. Rebounds and assists. And three-pointers made. I'm going to leave those. All right? And then head-to-head, -head, all of these are 100% hit rates. And we started off. I already got Drew Holiday. I added him to my list. Kyle Lowry over two and a half assists. Oh, his favorite. Look at this. MGM has it minus 150 to go over. So I look at that also mostly first. But this is why I like outlier because it allows me to look at look at it like this. And um, once I see that, I'm going to open them up in a new tab and then go look at more. So as I go through this again, this is a hundred percent hit rate head to head against these players that they playing in the playoffs. A prize pits, it shows that prize pits has this as a demon. Eric Gordon over one assist to get one assist. I like that they show that. And you know, they show the plus money plays, they show the heavy favorites. I look for heavy favorites on these big books like Caesars, minus one eighty five over one and a half assists. I put Buddy Hill on the play. You know what I'm saying? It's highly favored to go over. It's 
to, for him to get two assists, I'm putting that on the three man. Let's go see on Pros Pit what it looked like if they on there. That was Buddy Hill. Oh, I gotta move my mic. Well, I could just type for her. Is my camera on? Oh yeah, I forgot my camera. <laughs> I ain't looking at the camera. I'm sorry. You don't even need a camera. I just want to. Well, hey, Buddy Hill assist. Where is it? I don't know if it's gonna be on here. It's that two prize pitch try to get you. What is this one called? A goblin? See, I don't get to play on prize pitch, but you get what I'm saying, right? You saw the play I just saw. This is assist. I'm gonna put over here. I'm gonna put more. Let's just put more. Let's go back to let's go back to uh Buddy Hill right here. Okay. Buddy Hill's line. Head to head. This is Buddy Hill's line is at his assist line is at one and a half. Minus 145, the consensus slightly, I mean, like heavily favored to go over this. Head to head versus the New York Knicks, he's gone over this in each game he's played this season. All right. Now, prize pits, I got it at one and a half here, but obviously there's some alternate lines. Let's put it at two and a half because that's what prize pits has it, right? Price pit has it at two and a half. This is why I'm going more here. I would go more here. This is why I would. I'm not telling you what to do. Please don't think I would tell anyone what to do. Just um, help me select what I would select too. But this is why I do go over it. Now I put it at two and a half. You saw that? I changed it from one and a half, which is heavily favored to go over, and put it at two and a half. And it's at minus 119. I guarantee prize pits are usually one, minus 119. Hey, if you're playing on prize pits, bro, though, you should be playing five man f- flex plays. The math is out there everywhere. A lot of guys smarter than me and you have put the math out because prize pits only pay five times on a three man. That's why I like dabble. Dabble plays, dabble plays, um, Six X on the three man. So it's worth playing three mans there, but if not, you play five mans um flex plays for the long run. If you're in this trying to if you got a bank roll and you're doing this over and over again trying to get an ROI, that's the best play. Hold on. What about Buddy Hill points? I'm using underdog. I could go I can't use underdog, but I like to look it up. I like to see underdog. I can't use it. I could do those free plays and bang, one of them bitches hit. Damn, I can't cuss on this. Yo, I've been playing the, you could play the little free joints, right? And it's like, it's essentially equal to playing $1. And you could play like three men, three of them. I'm in Florida. I didn't know that. So I would just put some in and bang they hit. I got like $16 in this. <laughs> That's dope. Yo, I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to go to pick them live. No results. Results. Go. Results. And what was it? Pick them. Oh, was it a draft? I played this little draft. Oh, what was? Look, this little draft thing you can play in. You get like a free entry and I won. Who I beat? And it's head to head. So it's like, was it head to head? I don't know. Anyway, you remember these draft things? I can't really play, but I won $8. Playing on that joint. Hold up. Oh. All right. My bad. I gotta go back. Where he at? Yo. My bad. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What about Buddy Hill points? I'm using underdog. I'm gonna go to underdog first and look. Come on, bro. Don't do me like this. What is this? Why is that out there? Damn it. Something's not right. What's wrong with my typing? What do I do wrong? Huh? Buddy Hill. Damn, that was weird. But it's still, why is that there? The fuck is that? All right. Buddy Hill points at six and a half. Somebody just said that. They have What about Buddy Hill points? And the underdog, they have a six and a half. Thank you, Wisdom. I do draw a bit. Hold up. They got it at six and a half, right? Buddy Hill points. Let's go back. Buddy Hill points. Buddy Hill points at six and a half is slightly favored to go over at minus 102. Head to head, Buddy Hill has cleared this in every game. Oh, this is solid. I'm just playing this just because. Add to pitch. On underdog, boom, there you go. That six and a half. I would put it higher. But, hey, but see, I won this little 
you can't even play it in Florida. You get up to like twenty dollars and then withdraw it. That's what I've been doing. I do that a lot. So listen, listen, bro. This is like, bro. Don't spend no money. Because if you can't prove that you can have a good win rate or a good ROI, why are you using money? I mean, why are you using a lot of money? But for those of you who got $100, $200, $300, $300, you should be playing nothing but $1, $2, $3, $5, man, parlays, flex. Until you can prove to yourself that you can have your bets tracked on Picket because you can log into your accounts and see your ROI. Like, I'm dominating Dabble right now, especially in, since I started with Outlier in the month of April from the 1st. Like, I, ha- I have a 14% ROI. I'm up, like, 15 units. But I'm playing, I played 92 three-man parlays this month. <laughs> so, you get it. I, must, I wish, ooh. Hey, this is my first time using OBS, so I ain't going to try to pull up a bunch of screens and scenes and all that. But there you go, um, buddy here. I get the rambling like a bitch. Hey, Joel and B. What you want, Joel and B? Points you say? Can I see that? Joel and B. Thank you, Captain Matumbo. Um, Joel and B. Oh, they have them a zero point five gobbler, do they? See, really, I don't get that. Dabble, Dabble is new, right? Yo, they reached out to me, right? I shouldn't be telling y'all this. Hey, they reached out to me, right? Just like Outlier, I was just making videos about what I'm using. I was using Outlier. They reached out to me. I dropped some videos. They gonna have some ads coming out with me wilding on that bit. But but also Dabble reached out, right? But I don't want like a one. I want something that makes sense. I'm, I, and they don't even know I can only play on Dabble, which is insane. But anyway, <laughs> they don't have deals like this. Jordan B. One point, where is that at? What? Oh, that's three point made. I thought, hold on, let's say Jordan B 0.5 Gobbler. All I see is on the three point made, but that ain't really, you know. I think I don't think Jordan B is healthy, bro. I'm just staying away from that. Hey, but that buddy here over two and a half assists, I'm playing it. I'm playing Jalen Brunson. I'm playing Jalen Brunson under. This is my homie, bro. I'm a New York Knicks fan. I think I'm going under against Philly PRAs. But I can't play it here. I was going to put it on Dabble. But on Dabble, three mans for me make perfect sense. They pay out 6X. Three mans on prize pit don't make sense. You want to play five man flex plays. And because I'm here, I'm going to put five of them on here. Just two. We got to get another one. Who was that? Hold on. Damn it. I only got sports books in my state. Fliff's the closest thing to DFS style. Yeah. Hey, it looked like we can use, I can't even use Fliff, but they have like the free money hustle you can do too. And I keep doing that, bro. Hey, listen. So when I get up to $20, $30, whatever, I withdraw it, drop it on Dabble, and my now my unit size can go up. So I crept my unit size up from $1 to $2 to $3. Now I'm playing $4, five, three mans. And they pay six cents. You know what I'm saying? Bro, j- if you could play a lot of these and just have the data and go. I got a 14% ROI. Any business you start, you got a 14% ROI. You keep putting money in it. Right? That's what I learned. Anyway, next player. Anybody got a player? Kyle Lowry, PRAs. Kyle Lowry, PRAs. Um, Kyle Lowry, PRAs. Boom. They're set at uh, they're set at eleven and a half. It's slightly favored to go over at minus one hundred nine. You can see the uh, last ten games hit at sixty percent. He hit it at three straight, almost hooking it. But um, we're gonna go head to head versus the New York Knicks in the last game. Hit that not. This is PRA. How many shots did he take? This is a field goal attempt. If you look, uh, hmm. In that game, he only took four shots. Oh no, I'm sorry. That's potential. No, he I, he he averages six shots per game. But in that game, he only took four shots. He was one for four. I know he doesn't get a lot of minutes. However, he played in 25 minutes. He played 21 minutes this game. But you know, that's he's not out there to score. His potential assist is eight. What well, it was nine. He had six. He had convert some assists. But there you go. Pras. That's too tight for me. Let's look like one under against the Knicks. Still too tight. I can't play that. Who's next? 
All right. Um, we're not doing Kyle Lowry. Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday. Hold on. Here you go, bro. If you want. Oh, Drew. maybe I don't, I'm spelling his name wrong. Oh, they don't even have it. Oh, I'm on the PRAs. How I get under, what was it? Assist? Was it assist? It was assist, right? It's Drew. Hmm. They don't have nothing for him, huh? Can I select by game? I don't even know how to use prospects on like this. You got another player? Nope. I'm going back to the top. Look at this. And get rid of Joel and B real quick. All right. All these players head to head have 100% hit rate. Let's go. Anything interesting? Kyle Lowry assist. Did I put Kyle Lowry assist over here? Whoa. No, let's get that. Kyle Lowry, assist. Rebounds, points. His assist is set at one and a half. Bro, you go more here. Kyle Lowry, assist. Look, hold on, let's go back. <laughs> it's right here. It's heavily favored to go over two and a half assists. See, this is the shit you look for. Damn, I keep cussing. I gotta stop cussing, man. Who that? I need some bad lock. I need some lock. Someone on the bad street, bro. We every, you're supposed to be on the bad street. You gotta know that, right? Because the best people in the world only win fifty five percent. But that's why you have to use extreme bankroll management, bro. Because that those variant swings come, and I've seen it. I've won, and I was like, how am I winning? And I feel like I just been losing like nine days in a row. Like, I ain't hit a parlay in five days. I mean, it ain't been literally five days, but I've had those times where it goes so long. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? But you look at the stats at the end of the month, and it's like, damn, how am I up? It's the grind, though. I forget about parlays. Kyle Lowry. But you see what I'm saying? Look at this. Hey, Crispy. Dunk it. I would do that. Hey, Crispy. Crispy. Kyle Lowry over two and a half assists. You see this, right? It's heavily favored to go over. Prize Pits, I don't know where you at. Prize Pit has his assist at one and a half. Put that on there. If you can get Buddy Hill's assist at two and a half, put that. This Jalen Brunson pick is for me and me only. If you're interested in it, that's what you do. I don't, I'm not suggest. I don't suggest you play park parlays. <laughs> I don't suggest you bet on sports. <laughs> but I do. And I'm going to always do it. <laughs> I'm going to make videos about it. Every single day, let's get this dough. Hey, but if you, hey, Crispy, if you need some locks and I have to give you something, it's going to be Buddy Hill, Buddy Hill, and Kyle Lowry over there assist. Right now, that's all I have for you. Stay tuned. Somebody has Dante DiVincenzo. What a, hey, Dante, Dante DiVincenzo over three and a half, three points made. Now I'm just playing. Let's go look. What do you want? Points? Her points. It's at uh <clears throat> his point line is at 17 and a half. Look, I'm already on head to head versus Philly. He does not go over this season. Not at all. This is Dante DiVincenzo. That's his points. His points and assist line is set at 20 and a half. He did not go in over that. Let's look at his three pointers made. It's set at three and a half. I would know this because I I've been playing this all year long. People don't know that Dante DiVincenzo has one. He hit, I think he was top three and three pointers made this year. Also, he had a really, really high percentage. I mean, he was hitting that at a really good clear. I've been clearing him this year. But look, over three and a half, minus 119. I'm just a fan. That's why I would go over. This head to head against Philly, he hit this 75% of the time. Like, hooking him though. But let's go look him. Let's go look on prize pits and see what they have Dante Dante DiVincenzo points at. I don't like the search feature on prize pits so far. Or oh, I can't spell one. His points is also at 17 and a half. Do they do, do does prize pits offer? Oh, they do. Three points made. Show me that. With Dante. Oh, that weird for this. I want to see all their stats. Anyway. His three pointers made should be. Oh, it's also at three and a half, but that's still like a tight play. 
That's not one of the plays I want to give you, Crispy. Somebody asked about wisdom. Wisdom asked about that. All right, who's next? I'm going to go back to my, um, if you don't have anyone, I'm going back to my hit right list. Get out of that, Dante. Should I scroll on this? I hope I ain't missing nothing. Damn. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. All right. So, oh, but look, look, look. Oh, we just saw that. He on that list. Who called that? That was Wisdom. Wisdom, you saw that, right? His head to head was already on the 100% hit rate list. And it's under 20, 20 and a half points and assists also on that 100% hit rate list. And then you see that this is FanDuel, got it at minus 122. It's not heavy enough for me to automatically go over that. This is, though, his assist. I didn't see that. His assist line is at two and a half. They got him at minus 158. Um, sees at minus 151. There's another assist play for you, Crispy. Crispy gone. Darius Garland points and assists. Did Crispy leave? Hey, Darius Garland points and assists. Let's go see. Move that out of the way. I'm going to jump in here. Darius Garland points and assists right here. The line is at 23 and a half, slightly favored at minus 123. However, head to head versus Orlando, he clears this versus Orlando. You know what I'm saying? Darius Garland is clearing this. Uh, who was that? Oh, that was Justin. Hey, Crispy, this might be one for you, bro. Let's go look a little bit deeper. His field goals, he's attempted 16.8 16 attempts per game, but you can see he when he goes up, over or under those attempts, he's still clearing this. And most of the times, his points being the majority of it, but he went for 10 assists here when he didn't have enough points. Had nine assists, 10 assists twice in this head-to-head -head against Orlando this season. However, this first game was from last season. So was these two. These three games, they only had the head games this season, but he's clearing that this season. And also, you get to see that, all, honestly, over here, um, Orlando ranked third against points allowed overall and first against, against assists allowed. And then versus the point guard position, they're 16 in points allowed. And the assists allowed, they're third, but see, they average 24 and 7, both allowed. You know what I mean? Buddy Hill PRA looks good, huh? Let's go see. I don't know if I, um, I, I was on Buddy Hill for something else. Oh, that assist. Wait. Oh. Philly game, Philly Knicks. The Philly Knicks game. Yeah, but I just saw him. Buddy Hill PRA. Bang. Oh, was that 10 and a half minus 120? Let's go. You're absolutely correct. Let's go. I need to add this to my list. How many players? Oh, I was stacking some here. I didn't add Buddy Cal. Oh, I got me a three for the plate. Damn, my phone is recording. <laughs> Fuck, my phone is recording. Don't worry. I'm dropping that. That was Buddy Hill. Um, I don't like that doing that. I'm going to refresh this shit. Go back to prospects. Buddy Hill, Kyle Lowry, and who we just had uh, over here. Buddy Hill PRA is legit too. But like on prize pits, you can't play the same players twice, probably too, huh? I gotta go demons and goblins. Get out of here. Um, get off that. Go to go to uh PRAs, Buddy Hill, P. What was it? It was at 10, right? They don't have it on prize picks. That's crazy. All I see is three point points, points, points. Oh, they got the ladder too, huh? Hmm. But I don't know why they got PRA. It's probably not on there. Let's see if it's underdog at right. I refresh that shit. No, something's not right. I'm gonna leave that alone because I don't want them streaming and it still be, you know. Anyway, Buddy Hill does look good. Head to head, he's clearing this versus the Knicks easily. Don't you, Demichino, they have rebounds and assists at seven and a half. 
Hey, Wagner, who said that? Wagner rebounds and assists. I've been playing it all. You, you've watched multiple videos of mine. What am I doing? You've watched multiple videos to see. You know I'm down with, uh, you know I'm down with Franz Wagner. Somebody taught me how to say that because I was saying it wrong. Orlando Rico. Franz Wagner. Hey, he be balling though, right? But his lines would be his lines be too high. His lines be way too high. Rebounds and assists. Let me show you this. I can't wait to show you this. Watch. Right here. Rebounds and assists. Hey, that's head to head. Look at the last 20. Hey, look, it's at eight and a half right here, but look, I want to show you something. It's at eight and a half right now. You could I'm gonna do the under. Under eight and a half. Look at the last 10, first of all. You already know I was under this. We was under this weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? 90% of the time, under eight and a half. I just, I guarantee my, if I go look at my picket stats, my last three or four parlay, I have, I have three or four parlays that he's hit in them. That's how long I've been under that. But head to head versus Cleveland, a little different story in the games earlier this season, but in the previous two games and the most recent games that he played in January or February and January, he stayed under still. Like he's too consistent under this number eight and a half and his minus one twenty five to still. Hell yeah. Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon assists. Aaron Gordon assists. It's in the Denver game. Aaron Gordon assists. Aaron Gordon assists are set at four and a half. It's heavily <laughs> <laughs> Favorite to go all the way. Let's go look at the under. Minus 155 on his success head to head versus the Lakers. You can see. Um it's you know, over, under. Two straight times he got five assists, though, you know. But this is it's it's heavily favored to go under at minus 155. And that line has moved from three and a half to four and a half. You know what I'm saying? That changes things. Paula Bencaro under 22 and a half points. Paula Bencaro is probably a yes. I mean, not saying he'll go under that, but let's go look at him. Isn't this Paula Bencaro first playoff? Did they go to the playoff? This is second. This is sophomore season. His points, his points is at 21 and a half. It moved down. It opened at 22 and a half. They're at 21 and a half. Is the over is minus 120. This is head to head versus Cleveland, though. Let's go look at his field goal attempts. He, he, he takes 18 shots per game against Cleveland, but usually averages. He went 15, 14, 21 here, but shooting poorly. Barely over 40% and then 27% in that game. And then minutes played, he's still getting his minutes. Cleveland got his number, bro. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. How many people in that there? Did I miss anything? Whoa, how many people in that there? Levert, that's Ben Carroll. Karis Levert, points and assists. Um, Karis Levert. Craig Porter should be out, maybe out. Points and assists, I think he's out. But Karis Levert is going to play more minutes anyway. His points and assists line is set at 15 and a half. It's plus 100. Over 15 and a half is plus 100. And this is head-to-head -head versus the Magic. In his previous game, he got nowhere near it. Let's look at his uh, field goals. He, took, uh, he averaged about 10 attempts. He took 10 shots. But he just shot horribly that game. Probably why he did not go over. He shot horribly. He hit 40. He shoot 40%. You know, things are different. There you go. Karis LeVert. Whoa. LeBron rebounds. Um, LeBron James rebounds going to be set at 7.5. All that, is it? Come on, LeBron. 
LeBron James rebound is going to be set at seven and a half. Where is it? Seven and a half minus one hundred minus one ten. It's going to be the over might be the same. Oh, the under is minus one hundred five. The under seven under seven and a half. I'm sorry, over seven and a half is minus one ten. Head to head versus Denver. They played a lot of games, but this season is stopping right here. Three games this season. That was last year. Three games this season. LeBron James rebounds. He got eight, nine, and four in their most previous game. You can see his rebound chances. He averages 13 rebound chances. He had nine, 13, 12. Bogan from Knicks over nine points. Bogdanovich go to props. Go to Knicks. Bogdan Bogdanovich points. His points line is set at eight and a half. Slightly favored to go over at minus 105. He's played only in two games, three games versus Philly this season. Why he didn't score here? Did he shoot the ball? He took two shots. I just don't know if, about him getting an attempt. They, I mean, do they have to blow him out for him? You know, do they have to blow him out for him to he get minutes? But does he shoot the ball when he's in there? He's getting his 20 minutes against Philly. But but you would want him to get his points from the three-point line. But he only takes three shots there. He averages seven attempts only because he took 13 back here. You know, so... I know it's a low line, but that's kind of tight, and it's only minus 105. I'm scared of that one. Kelly Oubre points. Kelly Oubre points. I almost forgot who he played for. Kelly Oubre. Kelly Oubre pushed me the other day, man. I wanted to hit that for the six X. I only hit for three X. Kelly Oubre points. His points are set at 12 and a half. All right. Head to head versus Nets. He's killing it every single game this season. How many shots is he taking, bro? He, he averages 15, point, 15 shot attempts per game. And then he's getting his minutes. He's playing about 30 minutes a game against the Nets. I might need to add this to my. It's only minus 105, though. The under minus 102. But. If it's, the points is only 12 and a half, let's look at his points and assists. No, points, rebounds, and assists, I'd rather. They're at 19 and a half. That's what they were the night he pushed me, bro. Then I keep hitting the mic. That's what it was the night he pushed me. <laughs> Plus one or two odds. Oh, hold up, hold up. But uh, I like I like I feel like I like um Ubre points at twelve and a half against the Knicks. Again, how many shots did he take? Hell yeah, man! Hell yeah! I'm adding this to my picks. All right, um, Josh Hart seventeen rebounds and assists. I was looking at Josh Hart. You already know. I started off with the Knicks. Hey, how can I tell? What is this? Whoa. Did I go the wrong way? Hold on, hold on. Josh Hart, 17 rebounds and assists. I guess all I can see is the chat. What I think I supposed to see. This ain't like TikTok, right? Josh Hart. <clears throat> Josh Hart, re is it rebounds and assists? Where he at? Where he at? Rebounds and assists. Of course. Hey, well, Josh Hart hit some th a couple of threes on him. Look what he did in last. This is head to head versus Philly. 19 boards, 10 dimes. But his line is at 16 and a half. It's plus money to go over. They expect him to go under. The books don't like him to go over. I get it. That's an outlier game. This is the outlier app, obviously. <laughs> They don't like him to go over. That's crazy. But 
you see, the under is minus 119. I mean, it's Josh Hart. You know what's going to happen. All he usually does is rebound. He has 23 rebound chances on average. And then there are 10 potential assists. That's insane. That's crazy. Plus 102 odds. 14 and a half PA. Who? Obite. Who's that? Ubre. Um, what are you going to be your top five props? Hold on, bro. I'm doing them. Look. Look, look. This is on prize fit. I know I'm not going to get these plays on Dabble. But Jalen, I'm taking Jalen Brunson off. This is my my pick. I am taking Jalen Brunson under. But before I leave, I'm going to leave you with five of them that you should, that I suggest you will play. I'll play these. I'm going to try to play them on Dabble. My phone is recording. Fuck. Um, I want to play them. Now, nah, I guarantee this line move. But Buddy Hill... Over two and a half assists. Kyle Lowry, over one and a half assists. All right? That's our two for right now. Oh, oh, oh. And Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday, <clears throat> over four and a half assists. This is Drew Holiday head-to-head -head versus, uh, versus the Heat. I know they may not play until... I know it's like, it's still four games tomorrow, though. See, they don't play until Sunday. But, but you know, it's here. But it ain't on prize fit. You know what I'm saying? But that's still three. Are you paying attention? That's still three. I'm going to give you two more. We're going to find two more. Batum going to pop off again. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. You think Bill can keep this hot street up against Timberwolf defense? I'm going to say no. However, we've been waiting for him to wake up, right? Who's been waiting for Bradley Bill to wake up? I got multiple TikToks about Bradley Bill. Like, live in game. Hey, and then in that game, bro, he came back and covered. Yo, it was nine and a half rebounds and assists. I never forget because I was like, man, I know he about, he's not about to blow this fucking ticket. He comes after I make my TikTok post that you would think he went and watched it as he comes back to cover in that game. Yo, his points are set at 17 and a half. That's slightly... Slightly minus one tail favor to go over. Oh, I feel you. He got a hot streak against Minnesota. Well, the last game he played them, obviously, he dropped 36. He was 14 for 21. He never takes 21 shots. He averages 15 shots per game against them, against Minnesota. Look at his last 20 games. He averages 13 shots per game. That's not a huge difference off, but, you know, taking 21 shots in a game when you usually take 13 is... That's an outlier. He's not doing that, in my opinion. However, as you can see, in his last five games, he's been going off no matter who you're playing. This is verse, and this is verse all playoff teams, uh, Pelicans, not playoff teams, but, you know, decent teams, Pelicans, Clippers, Clippers, Sacramento, Minnesota. Like, is he finally here? Like, damn it, bro. Jamal, Moore, Jamal Murray rebounds. I'm not playing Bill on this. I'm going to go back. His points is at 17 and a half. I don't like it. I mean, I don't, I'm not putting it on my ticket. I think his streak can keep going. But when I see these right here, bro, is the next game is the game that you fucking sell us? Like, I've learned one thing that these trends mean nothing. Unless the head to head mean more, in my opinion. Like, especially when I'm looking at field goal attempts, minutes played, things like that. Damn, my contact feel like it's on fire. All right, Brett, I saw somebody else. Jamal Murray. Jamal. Hey, oh, that's for that game. Jamal Murray. Was it Jamal Murray rebounds? I got to look at the chat. Where is it? Where is it? Jamal Murray rebounds. Heard. Boom, let's go. Jamal Murray rebounds is right here. And, um... The line is at four and a half, but it's plus twenty, plus one twenty-five. Look, this is heads up versus the Lakers. You know he goes off versus the Lakers on everything. Last two games, like this, kind of like a no-brainer to me. The line moved like for four and four and a half. Let's see what Prospect has him at. Jamal Murray rebounds. Jamal Murray rebounds. Is that five and a half here? 
I think I found another little tiny discrepancy, and that's all I want to see. Look, whoever has it at over four and a half, you take it over. You find it at over four and a half, you take it over because Price Fit has it at five and a half. You know what I'm saying? And I guarantee if, if, uh, uh, um, I can't use any of these sites, but I got, I, I go look at their lines. I got to look at that. Why did it take me? You know, I want to look at the lines. You know, I can't use the bit. Damn, man. Get me out of here. Never mind. I'm wasting my time. Anyway, I look at other places, like especially those of you who could play on chalkboard and sleeper and things like that. But what I do, I just look at Jamal Murray and I can see not there, maybe right here. I can see that the over four and a half rebounds, they are favor him. I like to do, I, I can calculate the odds better when I see favorites. <laughs> My, it's just something I'm used to. Look, under four and a half is minus 135, right? And then Caesars has it at minus 157. Bet MGM has it at minus 167. You know what I'm saying? This is the under four and a half rebounds. FanDuel has it at minus 136. Why is FanDuel on here twice? I don't know. But Price Bet has it at five and a half. I'm going, I'm taking this over here. I'm taking, I'm looking for a, a spot to go over. Just because Price Pit has is that it over plus 125, like for you Fliff players, if you can find it. You get what I'm saying? Nicky Batum get me. I wonder can Nicky Batum get me one and a half, three point minutes since he got hot last game. You ain't lying, bro. He took off. But let's go see how many. We want one and a half. We want. Hey, hold on. Let's go see something real quick. Let's go see something real quick. Last 20 games. Yeah, he hit 60. <laughs> he hit 60. <laughs> he usually takes, at least he takes three threes per game. Three and a half, 3.8, 3.8, 3 right? And he's a. He's a he's about a forty percent shooter. That's that that thirty nine percent. I'm sure y'all can see that. Can y'all see that? But um, you want him to hit two? Let's go see. Look, put it up here real quick. Let's go change the line. Oh, they don't have two. Over two and a half is plus three ninety. But we want him to hit two. Over two is plus one fifty, bro. Hmm. Yes, he can. But but look look at against the uh against the New York Knicks. Uh oh. This is against the New York Knicks this season. He took two, three here, missed. He took two here, didn't hit any, took zero shots there, and took one here. He hit zero threes versus the New York Knicks this season. This is why I like the outlier app. I don't know that unless I start digging into this. All we know is that, damn, Batum hit six threes last game. Let's get it. Where we at? Whoa. Um, plus 105. Reeves, eight and a half. Reeves, eight and a half rebounds and assists. Yo, I think we, um, did we play Reeves on? Reeves, eight and a half rebounds and assists. Let's go to the man. Eight and a half rebounds and assists. What it was plus one hundred five? You said, "Where did it go?" Yeah, it is. It is. I like it. This is the last ten games. A head to head versus Denver. Look, look. I remember this. That I did play this. I remember this. Look. Yes. Who said that? I'm adding him to my ticket. Hey, but this is a plus one hundred five. I don't put plus money plays on parlays because. You know, I usually look for heavy favorites, but the go under is favorite, but plus money. And this is what he did versus Denver and at eight and a half assists and rebounds. That's something that I would put a little bit of money on. You know what I mean? Um, I put him over assists. Michael Porter Jr. PR8 or I got you. 
Bro, what's up with Michael Porter Jr. brothers, bro? One of them get banned from the NBA for betting stacks upon stacks on NBA games, including himself. And then his younger brother just got sentenced to eight years in prison for, like, vehicular something. I don't want to say the word on here. I'm I'm new to streaming. I'm used to cussing and shit. Damn it, we go. Michael Porter Jr., Points, rebounds, and assists is set at 25 and a half. Is that minus 119? Slightly favored to go under here. But, but hey, now nah, I'm going straight head to head, okay? This is the playoffs. This is what I wanted to show you against the Lakers. It's minus 119. But against the Lakers, you know what I'm saying? If I'm in the game, like, like a little two-man in game, like I'm watching this game and I need two men, I'm taking Michael Porter Jr., and I'm taking LeBron James over. You know what I mean? Rebounds and assists. Look at Michael Porter Jr. Eight and a half rebounds. This is the play right here. This is the play. Not his PRAs, in my opinion. This is the play. But I know you like him shooting the ball. So, PRAs is always attractive for Michael Porter Jr. Because that's what he does. He shoots the ball. Let's go look at uh He does not pass the ball. <laughs> but that line I just saw was a play. Attempt, look how many attempts. He has 13 attempts, right? But half of more than 50% of them are from three. Uh, I'm not a New York fan. I don't know what books you have available. But if I was, I want FanDuel, Bet, MGM, and DraftKings. I wish Grayson Allen over rebounds. I wish hey, we've played Grayson Allen points, I mean, rebounds and assists. Grayson Allen. We played Grayson, not Pat Cunningham. Allen. Uh oh, is Grayson Allen out? Huh? I don't have a line for. Oh, that's the. Wait, it should be this one. Mm-hmm. Yo, all the Sunday lines seem to not have populated yet, but I don't know if Grayson Allen is out because I'm not put his name not popping. All right, who else is great? Reggie Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson. Hey. Wait, wrong one. This one. Bang. Hey, Reggie Jackson is sneaky with it. Oh, look at his over. Is that rebounds? Go ahead, ahead. He, that's, I don't know if he's going to get any minutes against the Lakers. Well, he has in the past, but I remember this. Like, he didn't play. But um, his points is at 6.5 plus 105. But, nah. I'm scared of that. Matt Struess. Matt Struess. What you want from Matt? Three points made. <laughs> Matt, my bad. I will turn the mic. I need to try to see if I can use my other mic too. Three points made is the under is one. Wait, under one and a half is plus one eighty two. So they guarantee he going over, huh? Let me see. The over is only minus one nineteen. He hit four. I'm gonna go to head head. I uh, thought so. I'm saying he ain't hit no, but he don't take a lot either. Five attempts. Well, he took three here, four here, five there. What you want to see for Struz? Oh shit, never mind. What you saw? Oh, outlier only two you use. I use Stat Mute and NBA site. You got any other site or tools you like? Nah, I use NBA.com. Obviously, that's why I watch all the games. Look at it. other, but outlier right now is the only tool I use. But I look at the book. I look at all the books, especially the ones that I don't see on Outlier. For example, for example, if I'm out here and I see four books, that means I know that all the books carry them because this got Caesars, this got FanDuel, Caesars, MGM, so I know it's gonna show on a ton of them. But outside of that, I don't even use them. I don't even log into them. I look to see what their lines are, because all I can use is Dabble and Hard Rock in Florida. So I don't use hard rocks for some straight plays every now and then, here and there. I don't even, I like dabble, man, because the three mans pay three X. Hey, look at this. And I mean, the three mans pay six X. Hey, look at this. Let me show you something real quick. I'm going to just make a small number so it looks easier. Oh, those got, I got to take the demons off. I want to show a regular. I don't want it to be a demon. I want regular. Look, so less, more. It can't be the same player. 
All right, that's more. I'm just to put three random plays on here, okay? Why I gotta be a demon? Damn it. With three random players on here, you see that 5x pays only, that ain't even, what is that, two and a half, two point two five, 2.25, depending on what the prop is. Uh-oh, my bad, power play, 5x, I thought so. But same thing, right? Same thing, this is what I was trying to get to. Dabble, three out of three pays 6x. This pays 5x. You can't win here. You got to be really good to win on three mans here. I mean, you got to hit a lot of them. Paying out six sets, you got to win as many as that. The math shows it. I don't have that spreadsheet pulled up, and I don't want to bore you with the math, but I found it, and it makes sense. It shows you clear as day on prize pitch. You should only play five-man uh, flex plays. You should Let me put five on here. You should only play five-man flex on prize pits. If you have to, if you got two solid ones, play a two and get out of the way. Or you find a three man, play a three man, and get out of the way. But if you grinding like I'm grinding, I'm playing like nine, ten of these a day. You need to on prize pits. If I was here, only that. But dabble, I get three. Dabble, I get six ads for a three man. That changes everything. I'm sorry. Let me get back to this. So yeah, outlier is only two I use. I look at all those books. Grayson Allen first two and a half first quarter points. Grayson Allen, two and a half first quarter points. Did I have Grayson Allen somewhere? I'd be forgetting who he played for. Oh, I was wrong, guys. My bad, Grayson Allen. <laughs> I was looking at the ball. <laughs> My bad, bro. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Oh, look at the time, guys. I'm going to do a countdown on y'all. I don't know how many people in here, but I know my regulars are in here. And then after I finish these players, I think I got to. Oh, wait, it's Friday night. My wife off. Oh, I just want to go smoke. And then I ain't making a video. I'm using this as my video. Somebody got to help me remember how to post this shit. Hey, I was wrong about Grayson Allen. I was like, Grayson Allen's hurt. Like, hold on. <laughs> I was looking at the box. <laughs> my bad. Where is it? Rebounds. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Hey, I'm tripping. Ain't nobody try to correct me, man. All right. Hold on. Grayson Allen rebounds. Instead of three and a half, the over is plus 102. They tripping. Look at this. Wait, wait, wait. Head to head versus Minnesota. Minnesota got trees down there, but still, still, he going to get no rebounds. I kind of like that, but you know what I like? Grayson Allen on um, rebounds and assists. It's at five and a half. He covered there twice, but look at this. Last 20 games. I've been playing this for a while. Last 10 games. Bang. That been hitting. That This has been hitting. You know what I'm saying? That's what I, I need to make a video about. My plays been hitting all year. That might help. But I always, I've been, I find these trends. I'm like, man, I've been on this. Anyway, uh, wait, he's at first quarter. I be talking, forgetting. Last 10 games. Oh, oh, I do too. I do too. Adding that. Bang. Over two and a half is minus 120. Last 10 games, it's hitting at 70%. He usually gives a couple shots on early. Let's go head to head versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. Every game this season, he hit that first quarter two and a half point. Good call. Let's see who was that. Who was that? Grayson Allen, first quarter. Oh, that's Rob Beast. Yeah, no doubt, bro. Appreciate it. <laughs> um, Crispy, Booker assist. Booker says. <clears throat> Booker says. Bang. Wow. Six and a half minus 118. This is the last 10 game hitting at 80, 60% rather. Last 20. Head to head. Last two games versus Minnesota. Most recent games in the year of 2024. These are from this season. I mean, this is from this season. The rest of last season. So this year, this 2024 last two games, he's covering this. That's head to head. Um, it's minus 118. He averages 10 potential assists. He had 13. Look at this. He had 13 potential assists and converted 13. That's crazy. That's efficient. Somebody makes some shots after those passes. Um, Allen 
on the, yeah, added on the Suns. Thank you, Nathan. Yeah, I slipped out so bad. <laughs> Buddy Hill, three pointers made. Buddy Hill. I thought I did that. Maybe I did. Maybe I did not. Oh shit, hold on. I, I hear my baby. I'll be back. Got up. I be trying to beat her to the baby because you know my wife works. I'm a stay at home dad. She let me handle this. <laughs> she let me do this. And that's what I like to do. Where I'm at. Buddy here, three pointers made. Bang. Um, yo, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. This ain't like TikTok. I can't see you liking the screen or what is it on YouTube? You just what? We're in the comment. This is live. Like, man, forget the likes. Subscribe though. Cause I think I want to do my videos like this instead of, you know, cause I could go live anytime and I don't need my camera. I forget I'm recording my camera right there. Mm, I'm going to leave it because I'm locked in over here. Buddy here, three points made. It's over one and a half minus 119 last 10 games. He had four in the game. He's been tripping, man. Head to head versus the New York Knicks last game. No, he, uh, Last game, no. He took seven of them, though. I ride with that. All I got to hit is two. I'm going to add this to my <laughs> If he take Buddy Hill can shoot, guys. Just don't get it twisted. He may be in the slump or he may be off here and there, but that dude can shoot the ball. Wendell Carter. Wendell Carter. Bang. Bang. Wendell. What you want from Wendell Crispy? Oh, pops off against the Cavs. Let's go see. Hey, I'm gonna just go head to head. What do he do? What do he like to do? Let's. Uh, I got him at points and assists. Ooh, ooh, that's impressive. I appreciate that. Look, 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 look. Wendell Carter over nine and a half points and assists. It's minus one thirty five, and this is head to head versus the Cavs. This is points and assists from the big man. Let's look at his points and rebound. Good call. Who was that? Crispy. Let's go, brother. I'm adding that to my list. Good call, Crispy. Um, um, let's look at his points and rebound. Hey, good call. But this is really why I do this because I can't look at all these damn players and all these damn lines trying to find my plays. I'd rather do it like this. That's why I don't make plays to give to people. Like I'm not trying to sell people a pick. I hear people like, what's your Discord? Like, I don't even know what that means. Like, I don't have nothing to sell you. Help me find some plays. I'm trying to play... 103 mans a week, bro. This is points and rebounds. I like the points and assists, but good call. Let's look at just points. Points, bang. It's that eight and a half. This is crazy. I'm putting both of those. Please double have one of these lines available, man. Hey, there you go. Hey, hold on. Let's go back to prize picks. Hey, this is how I've not, like, Right in front of me, if I can play it immediately, right now. Y'all remember the assist plays, right? I hope so. It was Drew Holiday over assists. You could take Wendell Carter over points. You could take Wendell Carter over points and assists. Not his PRAs even. Like, you see the data. He goes off, gets the Cavs. Crispy, Crispy tell him. Bill or Booker, rebounds and assists. Like, there you go. Yeah, so, me... In my head, I've already constructed two three-man parlays that I'm playing. That first one that I had to assist on with my Jalen Brunson, and then I had the we had the last two assist plays with Wendell Carter. That was Drew Holiday over assist, and then Wendell Carter. I could pull up my list that I've added people to the list. Um, and I, my, my bad. I'm sorry. It was Kelly Oubre points. Okay. Um, the Austin Reeves play like these. I'm I'm gonna put. Oh look, not available. They ho look at this. You see what happened? Those lines be moving all day, all night. We just added the Grayson Allen 
first quarter something somebody gave me and it's gone already. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But that happens fast. Rico gonna mess around and end up 5k sub before summer start. Appreciate it, bro. Uncle Rico, let's get it. Hey, appreciate it. Who's that? Jonathan Isaac. I got hold on, I got Bill and Booker. Yeah, Wendell Carter. I gave whoever was asking for that three. Was it you was it you, Crispy? I think it was you, Crispy. I'm pretty sure. If it was, handle that, bro. We just did that. And um Hold on, let me get my man first, Captain. Let me get it is Captain. Oh, you the same person. Hold on, bro. Here go Bill a book, rebounds and assists. Okay. Bill. He say Bill or Book. So I'm gonna put. I think there's a way that I can have Bill and Booker here. And then move that. And then move his rebounds and assists. So look, look, look. Can you see this right here? I have. Look at this. Look at this. Hey, you know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna see if uh, it's only it's only these two players. So look, head to head, head to head versus the Timberwolves, right? It's only Devin Booker who has a decent hit rate. But you ask for rebounds and assists, and here's Devin Booker's over ten and a half. I'm gonna uncheck that. Devin Booker over ten and a half, and Bradley Beal is over nine and a half. All right, let's look at them both though. I ain't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Go back. <clears throat> Let's look at them both. Put this one there. Put this one there. Hey, so let's start with who's first. I didn't see it. Oh, my CPU percentage is like it's skyrocketing. Not really, but it's at like it's a double digit number. It's at sixteen percent. I'm using an M1 Mac MacBook Air to power this whole process <laughs> hey bill nine and a half rebounds and assists it's plus 110 to go over last 10 games is hitting at 60 percent. but we on this head to head it's the playoffs and his last game he got 11 he went over but Devin booker rebound and assists is at 10 and a half it's plus 114 to go over i mean to go under hold on make sure i ain't misspeak yeah bradley bill plus money to go over booker plus money to go under 10 and a half rebounds and assists and um head to head versus Minnesota oh head to head versus Minnesota he went over twice in a row there you go and then Jonathan Isaac two plus blocks hmm let's go see let's go see where am I Jonathan Isaac Jonathan Isaac, damn it. His blocks. Price has got something on a demon for him. I just saw that. Um, his blocks. Boom. Jonathan Isaac blocks. You said two, though. Jonathan Isaac, two plus blocks. Hmm. I got him at two and a half here. It's plus 130. And head to head. Head to head against Cleveland, he had two blocks before, but the last time he had three blocks was oh snap the last game. <laughs> hey, I, take your shot, bro. It's plus one. It's plus three thirty for him to get three blocks, and he just got three blocks. It was against the Bucks. They don't have any really any advanced stats for blocks like uh, re, uh, rebound chances and potential assists, but. You can see his minutes play. He's playing more minutes. He's averaged since 17, but in the last couple games, he played more minutes with more opportunity to block somebody's shit. What about uh, Hart points and assists? Um, Josh Hart points and assists? Where we at? 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 Damn, hold on. I forgot something. All right, Josh Hart, bang, Josh Hart points and assists. Josh Hart, Josh Hart, um, hey, so if I'm streaming, I'm not recording, I'm streaming. So, because earlier when I was practicing, I was recording. 
and that was saved to my desktop. But I'm streaming, but I didn't record. I don't have to record because it's going to be on YouTube. I'm sorry, I'm talking out loud. Oh, my bad. Isaiah Hartenstein. My bad, bro. My bad, bro. My bad, bro. Isaiah. My bad, bro. His um points and assists at 12. Hey, I like uh, Hartenstein over everything, especially because they're going to make and B work. B and B, I know you're not 100%, but our front court for them to make your ass work. You want points and assists. It's at 11 and a half. Look, the over is plus 105. This is, this is an automatic play. Add it to my list. Thank you, Captain. Hey, this is the automatic play. Last 10 games. Wait, let's go look at head to head versus Philly. Hey, but this was old games. I guarantee ain't no minutes on here. Look, he averaged 21, but he played 23 here, 19 here. I don't know. I don't know. But but that was in, that was March 12th and March the 10th. But last 10 games, bro, you can't tell me Isaiah Hartenstein don't know what time it is. Last 10 games, his minutes is up just a little bit. He had an uptick in minutes, which is going to get him an uptick in usage. I like the play. I like the play. I added it. It's plus 105. I added it. Let's go. Yo, I'm I'm going to shut it down, man. I appreciate y'all stopping by. How long have I been streaming? An hour and 21 minutes? It's over. I'm out. I got to go. I'll see y'all on the next one. I promise I'm going to do it again tomorrow. I'm trying to. I want to do it every night as opposed to making videos every day because I want to make videos about other shit. And instead of making videos just about my picks, I'd rather stream and we talk about it and then I'll flash my TikToks about my picks. But I play a ton of a ton of three-man parlays. I can't make a video about all of them. But I'd rather do this than to make videos or both so I can make videos about other stuff. Anyway, peace. I appreciate it. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you subscribe. I'll holla. Do I just hit stop?